I'm Keiko at Wisteria Surrey Ranch, and I have been raising alpaca since 2008. And there are two items that I think every alpaca owner should have. And these two have really helped us a ton. So your first item is your electrolytes. So it doesn't have to be this brand. You just, you're just looking for an electrolyte. And it can be like uh, Pedialyte if you want to go to your grocery store and get that. But this is a lifesaver. Um, alpacas can get dehydrated for many, many different reasons. And um, if I see anyone that's a little off or if it's a hot day and somebody's cushed a little more and she looks a little off, I will mix it per instructions. And then I will actually use a 60cc syringe. And I let them taste it. So I'll put it in their mouth and let them kind of taste it and swallow. So it's really important that you let them swallow and you're not just shoving it in their mouth. So it's okay to like wet their mouth by using a syringe and getting them to go, oh, okay, what is that? And um, letting them swallow. And then usually after one or two wetting of the mouth, they're pretty eager to drink it. So I'll just put it in and they'll just go, 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 which is great. So you can use it in the summer, sometimes even in the winter. Um, they may not be drinking enough from their heated bucket. There might not be enough, um, you know, moist grass to eat. So definitely keep an eye on your animals. And if they look a little off, give them some of the electrolytes and then call your vet if you need to. <laughs> so that's really important. Oh, one other time I do use the electrolytes is after a mom has given birth. Sometimes they don't get enough, um, water to hydrate themselves and since they're producing a lot of milk they can get dehydrated so that's another time i have used um, electrolyte supplements successfully so this is your number one item you want to have a couple of these in your house at um at all times <laughs> okay the second item which i actually don't use nearly as much is your probiotic paste uh, which might have some vitamins and minerals. Um, they can be called like a stress mix, but definitely look and make sure that there's some probiotics in there because I generally use this if their gut's a little off, um, you know, if they've eaten a little weed and they kind of have a little bit of a loose, um, looser stool, I might give them this. Um, I might also give them this when I electrolyte them. It just kind of depends. I do not use this product nearly as much as the electrolytes, but I always have one on hand. Um, Another time you can use this, and it's not an emergency because you'd be planning ahead, I hope, <laughs> is if you, after deworming your alpacas, um, you can use this to kind of help um, get their gut back to um, more of a balance. So that's another time I use this. So these are definitely two items that are really inexpensive that you'll want to have in your house if you are carrying and raising alpacas. Okay, bye now. <laughs>